aerodynamics, Bernoulli's principle, Venturi's principle, drag, downforce, you get into Newton's laws. I mean, really it encompasses just about everything. It's a way to really motivate the kids to get them involved in something different. The projects that we do in physics, a lot of the kids have done them at younger ages, not necessarily maybe seeing the full physics behind it, but they're familiar with a lot of them, and it's, it's not as engaging. And this project is just, it encompasses so many of the different things that we're trying to accomplish as teachers throughout the year, from teamwork to you know doing the engineering to putting the concepts together. It's really the whole package. Therefore, you can learn some math. They learn that math, science, and English are only good if you can apply them. You have to run it in a wind tunnel, virtual or uh, real. Virtual produces a more detailed coefficient, but real is easier to understand because it's just in grams instead of ratios and then you have to race it against your other prototype designs to see which one is actually the fastest. Because the one that's fastest in the wind tunnel doesn't always mean it's the fastest on the track. And we found that out. Because I always ask them, you know, the weird question, like in math, you know, how do you use that? Where is it used? You know, why do you have to learn this, this formula? Where would you use it ever again? And they can't answer the question. But now if you're you know, looking about you know, velocity and you're looking about um, aerodynamics and you're looking at you know, density, they now can apply those, those physical mathematical formulas to actual real world objects. And you know, students that were once looking at business are now in engineering. So it's not just a manufacturing competition, it's about selling your car, selling your product, selling your team. And from the logo to the final paint colors are all you know questions they have to answer. F1 is really fun. I love a fast car. There's got to have a lot of different choices for kids to excel at. And the more we give them, the better off we are. And there's some kids out there that need to do something, to make something, to have something tangible in their hand, and they like fast. Fast is an attractor, and that's where we're after. That's what we're trying to do. The biggest benefits of Formula One in Schools program is uh, the one, it's a team program. So the, the teams are made up of three to six students and they decide through their interview processes who is responsible for different areas. The difference between this team approach and, uh, and other competitive events in the, in the education market are that uh, these, the students actually have jobs and they have to rely on each other uh, and understand the pressures of working together. The other advantages are that this is, a, this is truly cross-curricular and it is, uh, it's applying not just math and not just science and not just technology, but uh, all of those are melded together as well as communication skills, presentation skills, uh, utilizing state-of-the-art softwares. This is real life. The 
competition itself is uh, broken into three major areas. It's a 300 point competition. 100 points is awarded uh, for the uh, display and notebook. Uh, basically, this is a tabletop display. In this, we look at their explanation graphically of what they've done, their sponsorship, their marketing, and their full team spirit, if you will. The next 100 points is in their verbal presentation. The students have five minutes to, uh, as, a, as a team, uh, do a presentation to a, ju uh, a jury of three judges. And it's important that all students on the team are in the presentation because we have a scenario where we're putting students into a position that they need to describe their engineering the engineering prowess behind behind their project, their marketing, and each one of the students has the opportunity to describe what their job was uh, in the in the process. I like to race, but I like to win more. And the third uh, hundred points, which is always the fun, is the racing, and the cars are raced. Uh, six times, three times with a computer start, and three times with reaction time where we actually have the students pushing the, pushing the button. When the students uh, present their cars to race, there's several things that we look at at F1 in schools. Number one is safety. Number two, we look at uh, the specifications that are set forth. Uh, the, we do have strict specifications, multi-page if you will, that uh, students are to design cars around. One of the biggest things would be is the, the, I guess, the way that the students embrace their project. It's theirs. It's something that they can be proud of, and they have ownership in it. And if they can work together in a project like this, and they can meet, you know, use the science and math, and they can use the CAD, and they can use the CAM, and they can use the machinery, and they all can work as a team, that's what a business wants for a future employee. That's, that is the prize package. To tell you the truth, that is what this whole competition is really about. Teamwork and applying elements of engineering.